Hey, Amy, I know you said you weren't going to work these past few days. But I didn't know that you quit. Huh? A friend of mine who works at your company told me. He said that you told him you needed to quit because you were busy taking care of my parents. Yes, that's right. Which means that you're a housewife now. Yes, I guess so. What is it suddenly, Clifford? You intend to legion off of my salary, don't you? What? Of course you are. You knew I would stop you from quitting your job if you had told me beforehand, so you did it without telling me. You were planning on telling me after the dust had settled, didn't you? What? But didn't I tell you? Huh? When? I think it was three or four months ago. Your sister who took care of your parents had to move to another town since her husband got a new job. Which meant that no one would be able to take care of your parents since we both had jobs. We needed to hire someone to take care of them for us. But you told me that I should just do it myself to save the money. Well, it was the obvious choice since you already had experience. You even disagreed when I said that I would pay for the nursing service. That's when I told you that I would be forced to quit my job. To which you replied, that's your responsibility. You should think this through carefully. I then told you that I decided to quit my job. And you said, stop telling me everything you do. It's annoying. I even made sure it was okay with you the day before I turned in my letter of resignation. But again, you said basically the same thing, which is why I stopped telling you about what I did. What? That's not what I meant when I said, think this through carefully. I was trying to tell you not to blame your job for not having enough time to take care of my parents. Huh? I meant you need to do both. How am I supposed to take care of your parents while I'm at work? I'm repeating myself, but... No one will be able to do the work your sister did for us while we're at work. You said no when I suggested hiring someone to do it for us. Even when I said I would pay for it with my own money. The only remaining option was for me to quit my job. I'm telling you to do both. That's what I meant when I said it's your responsibility. You just conveniently use my words to quit your job. What you're saying is ridiculous. Anyways, I'm not gonna let you become a housewife. Huh? Well, I did think that we would be able to get by with just your salary if we were tight with money. You see? That's not what I meant. I wouldn't have quit if I thought I would be able to do both. Huh? I didn't want to quit my job. I didn't want to give up my career. Besides, why are you making me and your sister do all the work in the first place? Isn't it your parents? Huh? How am I the problem here? I have no idea how to take care of them. And there's no way I'll be able to do it once I get home tired from work. But it was the same for me until I quit my job. Wait, why are you getting mad? It's your fault for not being able to do both, isn't it? I'm not to blame for you being so useless. If you've got the time to argue with me, then go and get your job back instead. Then let me hire a nursing service. No, it's a waste of money. Then who's going to take care of your parents while I'm at work? I told you to do both. That's impossible. If you don't get a job and continue relying on my money for any longer, then we're getting divorced. Huh? You don't want to get divorced and take care of my parents while working. I'm not going to let you be a housewife. Get a job or else. <laughs> get it? Hi, Amy. Is now a good time? Hi, Scarlet. Your parents are asleep right now, so I'm free. I see. I'm sorry you had to do this. It can't be helped. Your husband got a new job, right? But you had to quit your job because of it, right? Um... 
I got a call from Clifford complaining about you. Complaining? He said that you made having to take care of your parents an excuse to quit your job and leech off of his money. I see. I pretended to agree with him to make him talk, but is it true he refused to let you hire a nursing service? Yes, it's true. When I tell him I'll have no choice but to quit my job, he always replies by saying to do both and not be a parasite. He keeps saying the same nonsense over and over. You should get your job back, Amy. What? Use a nursing service if you have to. Heck, why not even hire a maid? But... You can just have them come while Clifford's away at work. I'll give you some of my money as well. Even if you get caught, just say it was my idea. Well, I can't really just go back to my old company. I'll need to find a new job. My husband will help you with that. What? You see, my parents talked to me about feeling bad about you having to do all the work taking care of them. Your parents? They feel sorry you have to put up with Clifford's behavior. Let's talk about it online in the near future. Without Clifford, obviously. Got it. Yo, Amy, you're finding a job, right? I'm not gonna let you be a parasite and leech off of my salary. But I already have a job. Huh? I didn't tell you because you get mad when I do, but I found a job I can do from home. What? From home? <laughs> but it still looks like taking care of your parents while working will be difficult. I'm busy with work, so I'm fine if we get divorced. Talk to your sister about what to do with your parents, not me, from now on. What? There's no use threatening me. I'm not gonna nurse my parents. What's this job you're doing from home anyways? There's no way it pays much. That means you're still being a parasite, so... What you're saying isn't even a threat. Hey, Amy. How are things over there? Hello, Scarlet. I've been able to focus on work thanks to the helper who's been coming since yesterday. I'm glad you're able to apply the skills you learned at your previous job in your new one. Yeah, thanks to you. I'll tell you this now, but... When I quit my job, I missed the sense of accomplishment I would get after a day's work. But it seems working freelance suits me better which is why I'm having so much fun now. I'm glad. Now on to business. About my parents. The preparation's finished, so I'm thinking about the end of next month. Understood. I'll get ready for it as well. Yep, I'm counting on you. Oh, one more thing. I've got big news. A friend of mine who works at the same company as Clifford told me that Clifford made a huge mistake three months ago and will be fired at the end of the month after the paperwork's taken care of. What? Seriously? Looks like he didn't tell you. Yup, I just heard of this now. So this is why he didn't want me to quit my job. Amy! What is the meaning of this? What? I just got home, but all the stuff is gone. Even mom and dad aren't here. What is this? Your parents said they sold the house. Well, they sold it. Why? They said that they're going to enter a nursing home. What? They've been talking about it for a while. Your sister took care of it when they told her their decision. They're going to pay for part of it with the money they got by selling the house. Didn't you hear from Scarlet? I wasn't told anything. Why didn't you tell me sooner? I only found out about it recently myself. Your parents talked to Scarlet about it, not me. I thought it wasn't something that I should intervene in. But you should have told me. But don't you always get mad? Fine, just get a job. What? 
There's no reason for you not to get a job now that you don't have to take care of my parents, right? I'm not gonna let you leech off of my salary. But didn't I tell you I'm working from home? Didn't I tell you to get an actual job? What you're doing is basically the same as being a housewife. I've been able to get a lot of orders thanks to an acquaintance, so my salary is basically the same as before. What? Also, after thinking it through, I decided that I want to get divorced. Huh? I actually hired a nursing service to take care of your parents two months back. What? Didn't I tell you it was a waste of money? Your sister paid for part of it. Like you said, doing both on your own is hard. But you're going to divorce me if I don't, right? I did say that, but... I'm going to get even more busy from now on. But you don't have to take care of my parents anymore. Yes, but it's true that I used a nursing service, so it's fine if you divorce me. But I quit my job! What was that? Something happened and I had to quit my job. If we get divorced now, huh? Oh, you were intending on leeching off of my salary? Huh? That's what you always say, right? Don't tell me that it's okay if you do it, but not me. Yes, but... Well, you're going to get divorced anyway, so... Wait! No. But... I'm going to turn in the divorce papers now. Amy! That was the day Clifford got fired from work. Obviously, we planned both me and his parents timed it this way. His parents are now receiving great care at a nursing home and are living a peaceful life. They sent me a letter thanking me for taking care of them until now. Clifford, on the other hand, according to a neighbor, he just sits on the porch and stares, not doing anything all day. It doesn't seem that he's looking for another job, but I heard from somewhere that he's being sued by his former company. He was taken away by a black van one day, never to be seen again. Apparently, he now works somewhere to pay for the money he owes. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and hit the like button. See you next time.